another sport, a meto sport, that China has risen to dominance in on the world stage is chess. Wasn't always that way. Way back in 1966, Mao Zedong and the, and the government had the, enacted the Cultural Revolution. And they wiped out all intellectuals, anything considered to be uh, intellectual. And they banned chess. And that ban stayed in effect for eight years until 1974. At that time, a bunch of Asian countries, including China, got together and said, let's, let's become dominant in chess on the world stage and do so by the end of the century. So the government pushed this big dragon project, the governments, including the Chinese government, but also a man named Dato Tan was a Chinese philanthropist. And he really pushed it, had the money, the resources, just pushed and pushed and pushed. Became a big success. Now I wanna go back to 1962 and just mention that uh, the Chinese Chess Association, the national governing, governing body in China for chess, the, the Chinese Chess Association was created in 1962. That organization runs the National Chess Center in Beijing, the premier chess institute, if you will, in China. But Dato Tan got this big dragon project working so well that in 1976, China gained entry into fighting which is the World Chess Organization uh, that runs all of chess worldwide, it's how they get ratings, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, has it worked? Well, yes, it has. So in China, we've got one, two, three, four, five players in China above 2,700, five out of the top 20 players. Well, let's see. Yeah, they've got five players above 2,700. Let's just go down the list. Ding Loren, he's third in the world. At one point, he was up over 2,800. Wang Hao is 12th in the world. Wei Yi is 20th in the world. Yu Yangtze is 33rd in the world. Bu Yangtze is 35th in the world. And some of these names should sound familiar because they're playing in the Magnus Carlsen Chess Tour currently. Okay, so let me just run over to the women's side. Zhu Wenjun is the current world champion. Hu Yu Fan has the highest rating ever for a woman in the history of chess, and she's a former champ. But the reason she's not champ now is because she took a pause from chess to go get a PhD at Oxford. And I think she's a Rhodes Scholar. Five of the highest rated women out of the top 20 are Chinese. So yeah, there you go. What more do you need to know, right? Chinese are on the rise and watch out. And that is Sports Blab.